Okay, folks, uh, another unit we're selling off a lot. This is the Shelby. I uh, wanted to show this exterior door here. If you can forget about the noise on Highway 54, but this would be if you want to put a garage off the end of the home versus the one we just looked at with the reverse gable off the, off the back side. So coming around to the front, end, the front side. Now this one's different. It has the vinyl siding versus the horizontal and the, the vertical uh, hardy board that we just saw. The vinyl siding and then it also has the columns. I don't know if you can see those very well. They're decorative columns and you kind of just break it up a little bit. It looks good on from the front side. All right, just coming in the Shelby here. And what we have here is a 32 by 56. It gives us right at 1,700 square feet. Uh, nice sized home, very popular home. We are selling the Shelby, this particular one, for a huge discount off the lot. A couple things I want to point out right off the bat is it has uh, this four and three quarter inch hickory crown molding. And then we go to a five and a quarter inch base molding. So, I mean, when you see it throughout the house, it really has a lot of impact. And the way they finished off the windows versus having the window trim go across the bottom and creating a dust trap here, they've actually finished this out like, you know, you would a real home. These are the wood faux blinds. They also come with it. And this is their new curtain package that also comes with it. So it gives you all those things started up that you normally, if you were building a house, they're going to say, oh, you want curtains, you want blinds, and start adding that up. As we're here, it's already included. Like the appliances, for example. There again, we have stainless steel from Whirlpool. A huge island to work with. Now, these are real popular. Now, we have several islands. We could do a bi-level or this one. Obviously, if you want to save the money and buy this one, it would be this flat one right here. Plenty of cabinet space here. Again, we're in the solid hickory. And I can't stress enough to you guys that when I say solid hickory, I mean, it's solid hickory and it's expensive. I mean, this stuff is not cheap. And again, we've taken the measures of taking our backsplash and running it up clear to the bottom of a finished off cabinet. And it just, it's just a residential look. If you were gonna build a home, you would do the same thing. Um, these are our new colors, our new countertops. We got the new, this is actually a vinyl floor. It looks, I have had people crawl and look around. It looks to be real wood, but it is vinyl. We are tape, mud and taped walls, half inch drywall throughout the entire home. Um, I like this home for a lot of reasons. Uh, this particular area right here, without wasting the space in a kitchen or a bedroom, you have an office. If you don't need an office, there is an option where this could be a pantry. Again, buying this one, you save the money uh, by taking this one. But a good idea, a place to sit down and, and pay your bills. Not that we like to do that, but you've got to at some point. Uh, again, the return air that I talk about versus having the grate in the door. The way this one flows, the women will like it because you come in off the back door, a washer and dryer that aren't included. I'm sorry, that's a freezer space. That's not included. The freezer's not included. We got a nice deep mud sink here, then a washer and dryer. And we're on the tile floor here, so your, uh, the boots and the muddy boots and things like that aren't tracking up carpet. And then we immediately walk into, oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to miss this. Got a whole house water shut off. And we're doing this standard on every house. And that shuts off the water the entire home just with that pull of a lever there versus having to go outside and do it. So a pretty, pretty neat idea. You can do it right here inside. Um, coming into the guest bathroom, they wash up there, pull the clothes and clean up right here. If you're in a rural setting and your, your husband's a farmer or you're a farmer, it's a, just a great floor plan for that. And then you know, as you're finally cleaned up, you can come out here onto a really good quality graded carpet. We've actually upgraded this. Um, and then we got the two spare bedrooms here. Now with the bedrooms at east side, almost all the homes actually besides one I'm going to show you are going to be a 32 wide. And if you ask yourself, why is he doing 32 wides over the, uh, the 28 or 26? Because our freight is, is affected by the, the width of the home and our factories in Arc City. So why not do the 32 wides when our factory is 40 miles away from us? This is a new idea. We start doing a, the cornice versus a of a lance. I think it's just kind of a sharper look. I like it personally. You could go with a cloth lance if you'd like. Again, the two by six construction, the zone three, like every home here at Eastside. But the 32 wide, the point I was going to make, it creates a bigger bedroom. 
it creates an area out here where you can actually maneuver furniture and go into the next versus being crammed. Now here is um, an example of the other floor location if you want to do your heating duct this way. Um, they say you win in the summer, lose in the winter, you know, but you can do it this way as well and that's nice and subtle and it's up against the wall. It's not out in the middle of the floor. So however you'd like to do that. But with the 32 wide, you're, again, you're going to have plenty of space in here for a good sized bed. Coming back out, I want to get a good view of this here because we've got a big dining room with the big windows and this whole area here you know is made for you know family to entertain and or, or whatever you'd like to do but a nice big dining room things like putting a patio door off of this in place of these two windows are possibilities we can do that at the factory again I'll stress this one will save you money by buying this one but if you want to custom order one we certainly can do that too and put a patio door in coming into the master bedroom it's one of my favorites here Again, plenty of room. I don't have any furniture in here, but it's a 32 wide, so we've got about a 15 by 15 room here. Um, plenty of big enough for a king size bed. And then uh, just a lot of room here in our, our bathroom, our master bathroom. Again, the double vanity is very popular, and we actually have two rows of drawers here, his and hers, I guess. Hers and hers. And you notice the nice drawer guys on the side versus having the cheap one in the middle, you'll try to line up. It has them, the sturdy uh, drawer guys on the side. Just some extra storage here. Got the decorative obscure window. And right behind here, we've hidden the stool. We're trying to do more of that, just be more um, conscientious of that. And we've actually put a real tile shower in here. We've tiled this in and grouted it, just like a site builder. And man, they've done a wonderful job at it too. There's not, a, there's not an imperfection one in there that I can see. Okay, we'll make our way back out into the living room after he gets a shot of that big master closet. Okay, well wrapping things up here. Again, this is the Shelby. It's on display here at Eastside Homes. Any of our sales staff can help you. Ask to see the Shelby, ask for me. I'd be glad to show it to you. Um, we've drastically reduced this home, so uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. Come out and see us. Um, at Eastside Homes, 30 seconds east of Wichita at 960 miles an hour.